In today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to solve the antiderivatives of exponential functions and logarithmic functions. And these are the formulas that you need to remember. The first one, the antiderivative of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x plus c. Next is the antiderivative of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln a plus c, where a is greater than 0 with a is not equal to 1. And the last one is the antiderivative of x raised to negative 1 dx. It is same as the antiderivative of 1 over x dx, which is equal to ln absolute value of x plus c. So these are the formulas that you need to remember in order for us to find the antiderivatives of exponential functions and logarithmic functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of e raised to x dx? If you are going to simplify this one, this will be e raised to x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the antiderivative of e raised to 2x dx? So as you can see, the exponent of e is 2x. So we are going to have e raised to 2x over the derivative of of 2x that is 2 plus c or you can write your answer as 1 half e raised to 2x plus c and this will be our answer on number 3 what is the antiderivative of 2 e raised to x dx so this will be 2 times the antiderivative of e raised to x dx so this will be 2 e raised to x plus c and this will be our answer on number four what is the antiderivative of 2 raised to x dx so as you can see on number four it is written in the form of the antiderivative of a raised to x dx and the antiderivative of a raised to x dx that is a raised to x over ln a plus c so as you can see, the value of a that is 2, so we are going to have 2, and then x over ln a that is 2 plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 5, we are going to have the antiderivative of 5 raised to x dx. So the value of a that is 5, then we raise by x over ln 5 plus c. This will be our answer. On example number 6, what is the antiderivative of e raised to x plus 2 raised to x dx? So as you can see on number 6, it is a combination of our first and second formula. And to simplify this one, we are going to have the antiderivative of e raised to x dx plus the antiderivative of 2 raised to x dx. And to simplify, the antiderivative of e raised to x dx, that is e raised to x. And the antiderivative of 2 raised to x dx, that is 2 raised to x over ln 2 plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 7, what is the antiderivative of 5e raised to 3x plus 2 raised to x dx? So to simplify this one, we are going to have 5 times the antiderivative of e raised to 3x dx plus the antiderivative of 2 raised to x dx. So we are going to have 5 and the antiderivative of e raised to 3x that is e raised to 3x over the derivative of 3x that is 3 plus the antiderivative of 2x dx that is 2 raised to x over ln 2 plus c or you can write your answer as 5 over 3 e raised to 3x plus 2 raised to x over ln 2 plus c and this will be our answer what about a number 8 how can we find the antiderivative of 3 raised to x plus 1 so to simplify this one let us use this illustration a raised to x plus 1, it is same as a raised to x multiplied by a raised to 1. 
So as you can see, if we are going to have the same base, we just simply add the exponent. So therefore, to simplify this one, this will be the antiderivative of 3 raised to 1 multiplied by 3 raised to x dx. So let us have 3 raised to 1. Let us move in front. This will be 3 times the antiderivative of 3 raised to x dx. And to simplify, this will be 3 times the antiderivative of 3 raised to x, that is 3 raised to x over ln 3 plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 9, what is the antiderivative of 7 raised to x plus 2 dx? So this will be the antiderivative of 7 squared multiplied by 7 raised to x dx. 7 squared, that is 49. Let us move in front. This will be 49 times the antiderivative of 7 raised to x dx. And to simplify, let us have 49 times the antiderivative of 7 raised to x, that is 7 raised to x over ln 7 plus c. Or you can write your answer as 49 over ln 7 times 7 raised to x plus c. This will be our answer. Just like a number 8, you can write this one as 3 over ln 3 times 3 raised to x plus c. They are just the same. On number 10, what is the antiderivative of 3 over x dx? So this time, we are going to use the third formula. That is, the antiderivative of 1 over x dx is equal to ln absolute value of x plus c. Now, to simplify our given, let us write this one as the antiderivative of 3 times 1 over x dx. If you are going to multiply 3 times 1 over x, you are going to have 3 over x. So let us move 3 in front. This will be 3 times the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. And to simplify, this will be 3. The antiderivative of 1 over x, that is ln absolute value of x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 11, what is the antiderivative of 9 over 7x dx? So let us write this one as 9 over 7 times 1 over x. It is the same as 9 over 7x. So this will be 9 over 7 times the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. So let us have 9 over 7, the antiderivative of 1 over x, that is ln absolute value of x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 12, what is the antiderivative of 1 over x plus 5 dx? So number 12 is written in the form of antiderivative of 1 over x dx. And that is ln absolute value of x plus c. So to simplify this one, this will be ln. The denominator will be absolute value of x plus 5 plus c. And this will be our answer. What about number 13? What is the antiderivative of 6 over x plus 3? So let us write this one as the antiderivative of 6 times 1 over x plus 3 dx. So let us move 6 in front. This will be 6 times the antiderivative of 1 over x plus 3 dx. So this will be 6 ln absolute value of x plus 3 plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 14, what is the antiderivative of 8 over 2x plus 3 dx? So this one is written in the form of antiderivative of 1 over x 
dx. And that is ln absolute value of x plus c. So to simplify this one, let us write as the antiderivative of 8 multiplied by 1 over 2x plus 3 dx. So let us move the constant in front. So this will be 8 times the antiderivative of 1 over 2x plus 3 dx. So to write our answer, this will be 8. The antiderivative of 1 over 2x plus 3, that is ln absolute value of 2x plus 3 over the derivative of 2x plus 3, and that is 2 plus c. We can divide 8 by 2, so this will be 4 ln absolute value of 2x plus 3 plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 15, what is the antiderivative of 3 e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 all over x squared dx? So to simplify, let us write our given as the antiderivative of 3 e raised to x minus 2x over x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. So let us simplify this one. Let us write the antiderivative of 3 e raised to x minus, if you are going to simplify 2x over x squared, that is 2 over x. And then let us move x squared in the numerator. This will be x raised to negative 2 dx. And to simplify, this will be 3 times the antiderivative of e raised to x minus the antiderivative of 2 times 1 over x plus the antiderivative of x raised to negative 2 dx. So let us have 3. The antiderivative of e raised to x, that is e raised to x, minus 2. The antiderivative of 1 over x, that is ln, absolute value of x, and then the antiderivative of x raised to negative 2, that is x raised to negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And to write our final answer, this will be 3 e raised to x minus 2 ln absolute value of x minus 1 over x plus c. And this will be our answer. I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.